Hi everyone, welcome to Zynard's Need PG 2022 information series. In this video, we'll look at uh, how to use uh, Zynard for Kerala PG Medical Counseling uh, for 2022. The Kerala PG Medical Counseling prospectus and the notification has been published on 9th of August. Uh, so as far as Kerala is concerned, uh, if you look at the announcements and events, uh, at any point in time, you can come back to the announcements and events in Zynard and you will be able to see all the notifications that are published here. You'll just have to if you're attending multiple counselings, you'll just have to look at the notifications and the upcoming events. If you're looking at the past events, you'll see that Kerala PG Medical Online occasion started on this particular date. And whenever the deadline is on the date of the deadline, you will see them under today. And uh, you'll also see the uh, upcoming deadlines. So you'll be able to plan accordingly based on the deadlines uh, for submitting information or registering choices, etc. And then we have the allotments and the closing rank staff. Uh, under the closing rank tab, we have the Kerala uh, counseling under Kerala state under Kerala PG medical counseling. Here you will have the complete set of seats that were available in 2021 counseling and you will have it for all the rounds. So for each seat that were that was available in the 2020 counseling for each category, you will see the closing ranks available here. Let's say you're looking at government quota seats. You will have quota as government quota or self-financing seats. Let's say you're looking at government quota seats. You can filter on government quota. And next on the categories that you're eligible for. Let's say you're eligible for only SM category. Then you can filter on SM. Let's say you're eligible for EZ category as well. Then you can filter on EZ as well as SM. In case you have confusions on this, you can always click on the read this before looking at closing ranks link here. That will have complete information on which category means what and what is the category code that is used here. And then you also have information on what each round means. If you come back here, you will see each round, which is the closing rank for round one, round two, round three. This is These are what we term as in sequence round one, round two, round three. And what it is mentioned in the state counseling as is also mentioned here, round one, round two, round three, and round three is mentioned as mop up. And you'll have the eligibility criteria as of last year. This is, you're looking at data of 2021. So you'll have the eligibility criteria as of last year, the registration process and the choice filling and the upgradation rules. Whether the same choices will be taken as round one for round two, whether you can delete reorder the choices, whether you'll be able to upgrade, etc. This was the entire process for last year because you're looking at this data of last year. This may have changed this year. We have got videos on what are the changes because there are some changes in the rules. But when you look at the data, you will need this as reference on what was available, what was the rule last year. And therefore, this is the allotment that has happened or this is the closing rank of last year. And whether upgradation was allowed, etc., you will be able to see over here. Now, uh, let's say uh, how to look at the data. Uh, I have filtered Kerala government quota because I'm interested in Kerala seats and I filtered SM and ZZ, EZ because I am uh, belong to EZ category and I am also eligible for SM seats. Now, I am looking at only clinicals. So what I would do is I would go to course types and select clinicals and I will have the closing ranks of every clinical seat allotted last year. For instance, Medical College Trivandrum was allotted uh, till rank 43. What is rank 43? Rank 43 is the counseling rank mentioned here. You look at it, there is a top tab here which is mentions counseling rank. So rank 43 is the state counseling rank. 43rd candidate in the state merit list of Kerala was the last candidate to, to take a general medicine seat in round one. Similarly, in round two, there was no shift. 43rd candidate was the last candidate. What does the number in brackets mean? The number in brackets mean the total number of seats that were allotted. Now, let's see, I don't have the state merit list rank as of now. I am, I want to look at the need PG rank. Just toggle or switch over here. You will see the respective need PG ranks. So you will see that 561 was the last candidate. 561 need PG rank was the 43 state rank. So this was the last candidate who was allotted. And if you click on this, you will also see the all the allotments of Kerala Medical College Trivandrum under the general medicine seats under SM category last year. Now, this will give you an idea of what the shifts were. You will be able to see the shifts in certain cases, like in Government College Code, code Pediatrics, you will be able to see that in the round one, it closed at 914 and the seats there. And in round two, it closed at 1095 and there were five seats here. You will also be able to see in case there was a seat available in mop from these are mostly random or lucky seats. So you may not be able to base your decisions on this, especially this year after the state round two joint candidates are not being not eligible for mop -up. And especially with Kerala where the number of seats in mop-up are usually not that high. Let's say you want to pick up a certain institutes. I would like to know only for Colicode and uh, uh, Alapi. Then uh, I will be uh, 
selecting those two institutes and i would like to have one information only for md pediatrics and general medicine and i will select those two and you will be seeing all the seats that were there in kerala last year in these institutes in these courses and their closing ranks in sorted order of closing ranks what uh, till the end of the counseling process so this is how it is and you will be able to see all information you can simply if you don't want round three i am only interested in round one and round two you can filter out on round one and round two and let's say you are interested only in uh, let's say uh, uh, in uh, ms seats you can filter out on ms or uh, you can also filter out on clinical ms seats over here if you're only interested in surgery as a branch then you'll be able to filter on ms surgery here MS uh, as a uh, surgery, surgical branches, and then you'll be able to list, you'll get all the surgical branches listed out here. Now, uh, this also tells you about the course fee. If you go here under Kerala PG Medical, you will see that government quota is under course fee and self-financing seats under is are under course fee or private management fee. So this has been mentioned here. So what is also mentioned is for re fee reference and the fee type and bond tab, check the quota you're eligible for. Let's say you're eligible for Kerala government quota. Everybody is eligible for both the quota. So for Kerala government quota, you refer to course fee. Kerala self-financing seats, you refer to private management fee. How do I go ahead and refer there? I go to the fees, stipend, and bond details. I think I am interested, like I said, I am interested, in, let's say, in MD general medicine in only two institutes. Then I uh, filter out those institutes, uh, both the institutes from, uh, I can filter out on state first because I am looking at Kerala and I can filter out on the institutes uh, from Kerala, Garment Medical College, and then Alapi, uh, TD Medical College, Alapi. Then I'll see the exa entire course fee for all these institutes, and I'll be able to select pediatrics and general medicine. Being a government, uh, being government institute, the course fee is the same for all. You'll also see the bond penalty and the stipend and the bond years mentioned here. For other details, you can always click on these links where you will get the complete information on what is a discontinuation penalty, what is a, whether stipend uh, additionally has to be paid, uh, what is a uh, stipend across three years, etc. Now you can always filter, let's say you are looking at this more relevant when it is, when you are looking at private institutes, let's say you're looking at uh, private institutes, you can select private institutes or state university or state private university, there may not be any state private university as far as Kerala is concerned. So. Uh, you can select a uh, private institute at uh, in-state university now, and look at the course fee for whatever courses that you are interested in. This will give you an idea of what uh, co what uh, fee range that each of these courses is. Kerala has a common uh, course fee for uh, all the self-financing seats. The course fee is basically the government quota fee. There is no government quota, private quota. So both will be the same and the NRI fee is also listed down here. We will try to add all the bond stipend, uh, the stipend details basically for all these institutes, we are trying to collate this and we'll try to add this information as well for private institutes. If you want to filter out all those institutes with a course fee between uh, 10 lakhs uh, to 20 lakhs, you will be able to filter out and check which institutes offer these courses. Specific institutes too, you can, let's say you want to look at Al-Azhar and uh, uh, you, you also want to look at uh, uh, Jubilee Mission uh, Medical College, then you will be able to filter out and see the course fee. For Kerala, it is not a big requirement, but stipend or other details may be relevant at, uh, at any point in time. So uh, you have the announcements and events. We will also be updating uh, the information on, on all announcements in this portal. So this is a one-stop shop for you to get all information. In case you want to look at complete information, as in I don't want to look at all closing, uh, only the closing ranks, I want to look at complete allotments. Every allotment of last year is available here. Round one, round two, and round three, which is a mop-up round, which is available here. You can do the same. Uh, now, the major thing that many people ask is, I am at a particular range. What are the possibilities for this year? Exactly like you did uh, earlier, looking at pediatric seat, uh, across, you are also interested in uh, self-financing seat and your rank is, let's say, 15,000. You can put in a broad filter of 12,000 to, uh, if your rank is 15,000 all India rank, select need PG rank and it put in a broad filter of 12,000 to 18,000 here. You will see the entire list of institutes which had at least one allotment last year in this rank range. If you're SM category, you can pick up SM category and see which institutes were allotted last year in this rank range, which might be a possibility for a candidate at 10,000. So this will help you give you a reference of whether to apply or not. You always suggest that even that if there is a minus chance, please go ahead and apply. 
thank you for watching this please subscribe to zainal the subscription details are uh, in the portal below we will be uploading all 2022 data as well for the trends as 2022 moves forward this is available for every state uh, which publishes data this will be available uh, this is already available for all the states for 2021 in 2022 we'll be updating the trends so that will be helpful for you when you especially take decisions during state round two uh, the link for subscription zainad and the subscription is available in the youtube uh, description please go ahead and share it with others if you think it will be helpful for them too thanks a lot for watching